<laughs> so let's see. Oh, I just love this. Passion ignited and your own energy, right? The Hierophant. Wisdom and passion ignited. Somebody needs to be very wise about a passion, about a new beginning, about a sensual attraction we might have with somebody. Matter of taking it slow, but yeah, they look like wish fulfillment. We do have the name of Cups with the Ace of Wands. Well, some victory of some sort, right? We finally get this after a missed opportunity and some unfinished business, right? Okay, let's see. Looks like we are getting a one, so we love this, right? Why not? <laughs> I'm kidding. I said one to two of ones. Oh my god, that was a waiting time. That was a waiting game. They've made you wait, Taurus, right? Well, we certainly know the waiting game. <laughs> Okay, now let's cut the cards out us and see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy this week, the most important one. And you know how time is fluid in tarot and you always have your uh, better judgment. Destiny, I love this. Wheel of Fortune, new beginnings with the Empress energy. Are you kidding me? New beginnings, abundance, fertility, creativity, sensuality. And on top of it, we do have the Destiny. This is the universe. And you do have three major arcana, actually. Three beautiful major arcana. I mean, this week is important. Whatever this is, is um, kind of a turning point in a situation. Beautiful. I love this. Good. Now, Taurus, let's see past energies on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Current energies on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual energies. You get three, okay? There is a lot to say for the energies right now. And let's see possible outcome for the end of January. This. Bottom of the deck, five of wands. Oh, yeah. There has been like a missed opportunity, obstacles, and challenges. Maybe a Leo you are dealing with, Taurus. And then we have the Empress again. I love this. Might be the mother of your children, the father of your children, but whatever this is, it looks good and it will change. I mean, kind of abundant changes, right? And a new beginning, a new leap of faith, kind of. I love this. So let's see in the past, Taurus, you and this person. Of course, you had a lot of love for them. We do have this spiritual union and we do have the star card. Uh, might be an Aquarius or somebody, you know, in the spotlight. Somebody, um, you know, uh, working in public, uh, you know, we call it in the public eye, but it's actually service, right? People, I mean, they are seen by a lot of people, can be. Um, but this energy is really one of love, one of guidance, one of healing. You know when the star, um, the stars align, um, when we meet somebody and we know it and we are awakened to it and it feels right and it feels good, um, that is exactly the energy, you know? Um, and that is one of a lot of love from your side. And, um, you know, it's like an instant connection of the mind, um, and the souls, right? <clears throat> and um, I'm sure there was trouble because we also have the hope um, in the past, right? So we are hoping. I'm not sure they um, kind of fell into your arms quickly because we had, again, this energy of waiting and of hoping that at some point we will have this spiritual union with this person. And most certainly, Taurus, we love this person like crazy. I know, I know. Might have been a Scorpio, uh, or might be a Scorpio you are dealing with. We do have the Death, and we have the Ace of Swords. Somebody, um, well, you know, I'm sure they asked uh, something from you, and um, they might have uh, brought the ending to this connection because we do have the Death card, but it was not any kind of ending. It came with a transformation. Tell us they might have been harsh, right? We do have the Ace of Swords. Yes, it's a card of communication and vision, but it is also a card of cutting whatever um, 
was no longer necessary to them. And, um, and then there was an ending, right? Somebody might have spoken their truth in the past. That is a strong energy of, I am going to speak my truth, even if it means an ending, you know, and I'm going to be honest about it. And I'm going to take full responsibility for whatever comes after this communication. <clears throat> it is also official communication. So I don't know for some of you, I might be in a divorce uh, energy here with, uh, you know, papers coming through the lawyers and that kind of energy might have been, but um, that is an energy on this side of um, standing by their truth, whatever that means to somebody. Mutual energies, of course, there was love and of course there was partnership. We do have the Ace of Cups, um, new and renewed kind of love. Um, so I don't know if we, that is an energy here of in and out relationship with the endings and new beginnings and love and then something being cut. But, um, you know, mainly the energy in the past between the two of you, we have one of recognition and reward, right? Somebody was somebody else's trophy, kind of, you know, uh, something to be proud of or show off. And we see it with the star, right? You know, it's the energy of look at me, how splendid I am, you know, kind of energy. And with the Ace of Cups is an energy of love, right? And new beginnings and endings and new beginnings. So if that was your question, tell us if you've been loved in the past. Well, now you have your answer. Energies right now, Taurus, I cannot believe you are patient about an offer. You are waiting for the right moment to make an offer to this person. Um, you are planning actually on how to, right? And you also want a new beginning here. But you are wait, um, kind of um, willing to wait, right? And being patient, knowing that the right time. And it's a lot of pentacles, so I kind of love this because it means you are in your own element, you know? Um, this speaks of every time, uh, um, you know, the energies surrounding are the energies of the zodiac sign. It speaks of balance. It speaks of truth, of staying strong. And no matter how harsh the challenge is, right, we are continuing the journey. And I feel this is what you are um, doing. And you have, again, a lot of love uh, for this person. And Ace of Pentacles and energy of investment. So you want to invest in this person. You want to invest in a future with them. You see potential. That is the Ace of Pentacles by excellence. It's a card of potential. It's a card of seed that will bring out this beautiful tree, you know. And it is a symbol of stability, right? The tree in, with the roots in the ground. <clears throat> now, the person you are dealing with um, um, taught us they are confused making choices, illusion, confusion, trying to make decisions, but we don't have the lovers. Um, so they love you back, you know, that is no doubt. They might have um, decisions to make about something, but it's kind of difficult when you have this level of confusion, right? We have all these hands and we don't know, should we, um, should we let go, right? That's energy of letting go or holding on to something, you know? Um, and they need to make choices. I don't know if um, about love or I don't know if about you, but definitely they need to uh, make choices of clarity and a form of um, a form of a vision of some sort, right? But it's not because they don't love you. Mutual energies between the two of you. We have rejoice and celebration, three of cups. So both of you, you want back. Ace of Wands, again, we have this energy of sensuality, playfulness, attraction, starting new again, and uh, having this connection all over again. And both of you are discontent and bored because you've missed an opportunity to develop something that was beautiful and really based on love. Um, Doros, you are loved by this person and you love this person. They, they might be a little bit more harsh than you are. <clears throat> Um, I mean, the death and the ace of swords in itself, they are energies of, um, um, you know, of cutting something abruptly. Um, and can be, can be the relationship, maybe the way they, um, you know, the way they argue, maybe the way they have conversations. 
um, maybe it's somebody, you know, ghosting and then coming back, ghosting and coming back. Both energies are, uh, you know, energies of abruptly ending something. Um, not sure with a lot of explanations, but from time to time with the Ace of Swords, um, they might have explained something in the past. So, you know, but um, they have they have to figure something out. You know, I'm not going to lie here. Um, they need to figure something out. Um, but hey, if we go back to the overall energy, um, Taurus, this is destined. That's the destiny here. It's, um, actually this is fate. So, you know, it's part of the big book of life, as I call it. <clears throat> it is part of your journey. That's, um, uh, the energy reminding us that we have control over a side of it. And then, um, you know, the universe takes over. <clears throat> so yeah, that is this beautiful energy in some way that this is destined and this is abundant and you have to walk in um, in faith, right? Moving forward, Taurus, on your side, we do have balance, a justice card, this is Libra, and we do have the five of swords, so wrongs will be made right. You'll find balance, right, in it. Um, and there will be an opportunity coming your way to bring uh, things in balance again. Maybe to bring yourself in balance and solve a headache because we do have conflict and defeat. I sense it's more uh, personal, intimate within you because this is how we get um, the justice card, right? Um, with the decision, you, you put an end to whatever is troubling you over here and can also be uh, finding a solution. Um, so that you solve a conflict. If you know you had a conflict, I'm not seeing it in the past, but if there was a conflict, uh, we have some peace of mind here because we are doing what's right and somebody else might be doing uh, what's right towards you. <clears throat> now look at this person. Eight of Swords and the Tower. They are going through hell right now, Taurus. The Tower and the Trapped in Fear. Mental prison and their world. Whatever this is and whatever they did, um, taught us whatever, whatever confused they were or endings or harsh communication or whatever separation they might have imposed on you, it's equally a disruption to them, you know, and a mental prison in the same time, they are thinking and thinking and going back to whatever happened and they feel they cannot come out of it. Uh, it is the end of the world for them, Taurus. It feels like, you know. Um, looks like a very uh, new phase, right? Because they come from transformation and endings to the tower. So it's like they had control and the vision over something. Then they got confused about it. And now that is a full boom um, in their face. But again, it's not because they don't love you. I don't know exactly what they are going through, but... That is this energy of mental prison and unable to move. Um, it's interesting, Taurus, because they have a boom moment, you both have a boom, boom moment, right? This ending is killing you both, actually. That's the energy. Disruption, and then we have the universe, an ending. Of course, this can be, for some of you, really, the tower moment is over. Um... And for some of you, this is the energy of the third week of January, where we, um, interesting, it's, it, it feels like, um, Doros, you make peace with it, right? And because you make peace with it, and it's like you accepting this, the person is going even deeper in a tower moment, right? This energy can be saved. This problem can be solved. That's for sure. You know, um, and I love to see the balance on your side and I love to see the love right now. But, you know, just a word of, um, you know, however we want to deal with this. Right. Um, you know, make sure we are doing the right thing over here because we go from I love you like crazy. I still love you. I still have an offer for you to a boom moment. So. Um, you know, um, you know what I mean, you know, um, are we forcing the universe into something that it's not your plan? Another, you know, uh, food for thought. 
are we trying, you know, uh, the new beginning that we want and we are having it? Are we, uh, you know, managing the things as we um, are supposed to or feel like or being aligned? That kind of energy. So it's definitely both suffering from it, um, Taurus, whatever this is. It's both suffering at the same, with the same intensity, right? And mirroring each other like crazy. Um, in terms of zodiac signs, uh, you might have Leo feminine energy, you have Aquarius, you have uh, Scorpio energy, Gemini, Libra, and that's about it. So let's ask for some guidance, Taurus. Let's see what we need to know and do, what we are guided to do with this um, connection. We have very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. You have a decision to make. You really have a decision to make and you know what this is. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So you just got your green light over here and you better decide soon, right? And we have separation. Interesting. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I do believe it's happening right now. We also have worth waiting for. Um, divine timing is, is at work in your love life. Destiny and the will of fortune is actually divine timing. So that is something about waiting. I do believe we are going through a tower moment. And that is, um, we need to allow dust to settle a bit. Um, but we have feelings, I know, I know. And you got your green light, but in the same time, you know what? Don't put your life on hold while you wait. That is very important, actually. You know, we keep going. Um, advice for you, Toro. Surrender to success. You are ready to experience abundance. Well, of course we are. Uh, we do have the Empress as the overall energy. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. This is exactly the full. It's interesting to us. This energy and this piece of advice uh, captures, actually, two of your overall energies, right? The new beginnings and the abundance. So something major is coming, that is for sure. And you need to take a leap of faith. You have to take a leap of faith to this new beginning, whatever this new beginning means to you. Because it's general, I don't know, but you are really guided to take a leap of faith with something new. And surrender to effortlessness. Stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. And with the second that surrender card, you just got your overall energy, the will of fortune, right? Going with the flow, allowing destiny to do its work. It's, it's just tremendous. I'm going to stop here. Um, of course, we have surrender stubbornness. If you're tensing up or, tacking, or taking sorry, a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. Just in case it ended in conflict and slamming the door, that is something for somebody there, you know. Just a reminder, it doesn't solve a problem, actually. On the contrary, it um, leaves it like suspended and um, kind of on the table still. Taras, you know I love you, right? I'm sure you know. Um, what else? Well, if you feel like sharing with me, um, how you feel about this reading, you know, I read each and every message, right? And I answer to most of them, actually. And, um, yep, as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.